hungry, you're going to hungry, you like to eat, you are going to get into the drinks. And then after those lessons, we'll, we'll have a couple of new ones. We'll have the, uh, so last year we talked about the corn. Very important in Pawnees. So there's all kinds of words for the different stages of corn. So uh, we'll have that towards the end. And then we'll get into, uh, or not more, not a couple of weeks. Yeah, probably, probably the middle of February. And then we'll, uh, at that time it would be spring. We'll get into the weather, weather terms. We like to do that on the weather terms because it's cold one day, rainy, hot, tornado. No yeah, so, so that's a good time to do all those lessons. Um, yeah. so, so, so the plan is May 5th, the first week of May. So we're going until the first week of May. 17 weeks, uh, it'll be our spring semester. Take a break in the summer, come back in the fall. Um, during the summer, I don't know if we're going to have uh, classes. We might, kind of depends on what the tribe has planned. If they want us to do the class. Uh, sometimes, I mean, the past few years, we've done uh, Pawnee Powell that Saturday. Last year, we didn't, but the three years before that, we did. Wichita visitation? Oh, no. Yeah. This year? Yeah. This year? It's here. Okay, yeah. So we usually do something like then. Um, it's good to. Uh, be because I didn't, we didn't even touch on this last time when we started back up. But Pawnee is a Kanoan language. Kanoan language can. We got us. Right now, we got us. A Rickerall is pretty close to us. And there's a lot of, uh, there's some words that are similar, pretty much the same. Um, Zach did his uh, thesis on that Pawnee, the Rickerall language. Uh, let, me, let me keep going, and then you can you do that. Okay. So that's us, and it's a Rickerall, and then a little bit further down that line, we're kind of related to the, the Wichita. I think it was. Yeah, it's a state language now. Yeah. And then further on down, it's the Catholics. So that, well, that's our language family. Uh, yeah, not very many at all. You know, some, some uh, I work for the Otos, and they got the Siouan language family. They had a lot of, uh, a lot of relatives. Us, it's real small, so. Uh, it's good to, to talk with the uh, Wichita. The Wichita, it's good to talk with them. Their uh, structure of the language, what's going on, different stuff like that. Uh, a Rickerall, I don't know if we're going to a Rickerall visitation. I don't know. Uh, but it was really good to talk with them. We hope to keep that going. It was really good, really interesting. The, the, the stuff they have. So, so, so that's where, where, where party comes from. The Kanoa language and Kanoa language. We usually talk about that, but we didn't even talk about that. Jump straight into the language. Um, questions on that? Questions on the kind of the, the plan? When you say that, um, like it's Pawnee, Pawnee, and then they're related to like uh, Rickera, and then goes down to Wichita, and then like Caddo, is it delineated in any way, or is it just all kind of the same, just kind of more, is it on a kind of even level of that relationship, or does it, are they less? Related. Okay. As you go down. Okay, so that's that's gonna put up the map. That's gonna put up a map. This is kind of based on a linguistic analysis. I don't know how you want to say that. So Zach's gonna draw this thing to the map. Okay. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. Okay. okay. I never understood that. So 
the, 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 the one that keeps you, that's how you say it, kind of a guess, because it is an extinct. Um, I don't know if they kind of merged in with the Wichita. I don't know. Kind of confusing, but I'll try to not muddy the water. It's too bad. So we got Pawnee right here, and then we could probably draw a line or dialects right off of this. And this is only, let's say, like hypothesis, right? Do we know it was true for sure? Can't 100% say, but we could take a good, educated guess, right? Basically. So we have Pawnee, and we have a Rickroll. The way this map kind of works means that these two are kind of more closely related. At one time, we could guess that maybe they were the exact same language, I guess. This is a real weird one, because these folks got incorporated into Wichita. I think there might have been another group that got incorporated into Caddo, which is real weird. But their language is actually more closely related to Pawnee and Rickro than it is to Wichita. Which, I guess I could put it this way, like, we're Pawnee people, but we speak English, right? So at one point, these probably started speaking Wichita. Maybe started speaking Caddo. The people have kind of just got incorporated into that group. Uh, Wichita kind of makes up this other group here. And together, one, two, three, four, these four languages, Taysa Kadoan language, these ones are the, they call them Northern Kadoan languages. So, Kansas, I guess, and up. Kansas, Oklahoma, and up. Caddo is the only ones, Southern Kadoan. They have a lot of different dialects. I don't know which dialect kind of survived until the day, but I want to say they had like three different bands or something, so maybe each band spoke a little bit differently. Kind of makes up the cattle group. Was any of the southern, I don't know what that word says, southern. Yeah, it says southern. Oh, just southern. 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 Yeah. Okay. Are any of the southern, Kadoan, I don't know, uh -huh. language similar to any of ours? So yeah, this is where it gets real tough. This I heard it wasn't. Linguists kind of just make their best guess. If we really looked at Pawnee as it is today, and Rick Raw, compared it to Caddo, we won't see very many similarities. That's what I heard. They have way more sounds than us. If you remember back, us talking about Pawnee has like 16, right? And 18. Caddo, I'm pretty sure, has 30 plus. Sounds. So right off the bat, you know, they have way more sounds in them. Although grammatically, right, some of the stuff we're teaching you guys, like the I and those type of things, their, their language kind of works the same. So you can kind of tell maybe way back, thousands and thousands of years probably. But yeah, if you just look at it on the surface, so we can't really tell. Every once in a while, they might have a word that's similar to Pawnee. I want to say buffalo. I want to say buffalo is real close to our world. They always forget if it's cattle or Wichita. I think it's cattle. Donahaw. Right? Donahaw, us. Donahaw, then. So you can see some, some instances where, like, okay, yeah, maybe we're related. For the most part, yeah, there's not a lot of similarities. That's where it gets real scientific, I guess. You're trying to guess 
this sound changed into this sound, and then maybe that sound changed to this. And then you're looking at Pawnee and Caddo and being like, okay, yeah, maybe they're related. Maybe there more sound changes went on over there than did in our language. But it's tough. It's real tough. Okay, yeah, my thesis kind of specifically, I'm going to go ahead and throw SK, Skidi, and SB, South Bend. So what I did was look at Skidi, South Bend, and Rickroll. Because I know a Rickroll is the most closely related to Pony. And I know that since we've lost all our first language speakers, right? How are we going to make new words? One idea I had, and it's not just me, a lot of other tribes are doing this as well. So I guess the idea kind of got shared. Maybe there's a word in a, that a linguist sometime in the past recorded for a rickroll. Maybe the linguist for Pawnee never recorded that. But if it got recorded in a rickroll, it's close enough to Pawnee that we could look at, say, like sound changes. Maybe, maybe when we see an S, the sound, right? The S sound in Pawnee. Maybe it's always a SH sound, a Rick Rock. And I'm not saying that's exactly how it is, but that's kind of the basic idea behind it. And there are what they call regular sound changes, like a P in Pawnee can correspond to a P or a W in Rick Rock. And so if we could look at all those sound changes and kind of line them up, if we never got a word recorded in a Rick Rock, had it recorded, well, now we could, based on the sound changes, right, like I said, if this is a SH, well, now we want to make that word for Pawnee, we're just going to change that SH into an S, and then with our other sounds, we make up a new word that we never, not to say we never had, but it just didn't get recorded, right? And that Pawnee stops still there, because these two languages are so closely related, that, that thought still there. That's, that's kind of the basic idea behind my thesis. Okay. So, so, so Zach, uh, so Zach and I, whenever we were at school, we lived together. So we helped each other. We, so I know what Zach wrote about. <laughs> Help, not held, Zach said. Help each other, not held each other. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Tony. <laughs> uh, tough time. <laughs> you, you, you got through. You got through. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, we got through. We got through. But, uh, so Zach came up. We didn't have a word for uh, Buddhist. But, but, yeah, which made sense, right? We were down here. We didn't have news. The Rickaroo went up north. They had news. So based off of, I can't remember if you remember how hungry we had. But based off of a rickerall word, with those sound changes that was studying, we were able to kind of come up with a funny way of saying it. So this is how we made up a word, but we're going to leave it up to the class if they want to accept that. We don't want to be, hey, Zach and Taylor's making up words. We're trying to tell you kind of the process of what's happening. And if we want to use this word, we can. We don't have to. Stuff like that. So, yeah, so, so, so that's a uh, couple of his hands trying to do this, but uh, it didn't on his computer.
sure don't know that sound. I can't remember off the top of my head. I can't remember these two, but imagine we have a word in Rick Raw, like Tay said, for moose. Like Tay said, we didn't have that word. Makes sense. Too far south, right? Even back then, kind of on the fence. These guys more up toward the kingdom, right? Where maybe they're around. So they have a word for moose. We don't. It makes sense that this was never recorded. So the way it works, and then in Rick Raw, when they remember to do like double E's, this is like this for us. So they had some type of word like this. Wesusiru. Not sure if that's the right word. But just like Pawnee or Rick Raw, we're going to describe things. We're going to describe what things look like, what they sound like, different things like that. So in a Rick Raw, uh, this kind of means elk. It means a soft nosed elk. Which is a pretty good description of a moose, right? Soft nosed elk. So nowhere did we even really have this meaning. Tay and I kind of had a process of elimination and really look at these. And like I was saying earlier, sounds change over time. So we really had to find this out. Because you wouldn't guess based on way that that means elk. Because actually in the Rickroll, I want to say it's wall. And then their word for nose, we have chusu, they have something similar. Maybe susu or something, or maybe it means lit in their language. But this is the kind of the key to it all right here, this back part. Aru, aru. Aru in a Rickroll meant the same thing as it does in Pawnee. It meant soft. Huh. So that was our first clue. And then based on, like I was kind of describing earlier, in Pawnee when we get this, we get this in a Rickroll. So that was kind of the second clue. And then based on that, we could figure out what that little part meant and that it meant nose or lip. So we knew it meant soft nose something. We had to look at some other things and we finally found out South Bend's actually, the language actually helped come up with this word. So if you remember at the end of December, remember when we had uh, the uh sound plus the is sound kind of equaled what in South Bend? Equaled the A sound. And that was our clue right there that hmm. actually under this, it's wub, elk, plus isus, nose. These sounds are just changing to this now. Now we have to come up with the word in Pawnee. Pawnee doesn't follow the same rules as a Rickroll though. So we knew it wasn't going to be a juice to do or be juice to do. We had to look at other examples and we came up with Paul Chusu, soft nose, elk is a boots and fine. So it took a lot of, I don't know, like they said, analyzing this. Analyzing meaning, analyzing sounds. They finally come up with a new word that we didn't have. Make sense? Long drawn out process. That was good, yeah. Fascinating. Yeah, so, so that was that species. <laughs> Another reason we did this is that um, maybe Rick Morrell has materials that we don't have. With the sound changes, we're able to convert that to Pawnee. Yeah, they could convert our stuff to Rick Morrell. That makes sense. That's kind of Zach's whole thesis of that. So it's all about. So I don't know how we got onto that, but there we go. That, that's, that, that was that sort of thesis. 
Well, that raises another question. The, the beginning of the word that you have at the top, P, I'll call it long A. Yeah. 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 That's the question. Yeah. 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 And I know, and I said it the other one. We're, we were arguing about that word, but it's both of them. Why? Yeah. Why? Uh, or how? I thought that that... Yeah, yeah, okay. The, 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 yeah. Okay, so, so with that word, oh, um, we're talking about moon or elk, our, our kind of... Um, Yeah, hill or mountain, ba'u, ba'diki, horn, they all have that shape, you know, that kind of moon shape. And that, that's what we think. Wow. That's what Zach and I think, based on our, our study, that's kind of what we think it's talking about. Ba. Yeah, ba'kis, if you're, if you're uh, knee cap. Same kind of shape. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, you, so you're, describing, you're describing what's going on. So that's kind of all of that going on. I thought I read somewhere that uh, <clears throat> Pa, when it referred to moon, meant disappearing. Is that, had you come across that or? <clears throat> yeah, well, we've seen that too. It has to do with like a, a mind. Yeah, disappearing moon. It's talking about some kind of month. It's in a month name. I can't walk off my head which one it is, but we've seen that too. So I that was exactly nice. Yes, they, they all kind of have that same shape, but that's what we're talking about. Mm. Any other questions on that one? Yeah, it was a big tangent. But okay, we're back on we're back on yeah, Okay, so we're gonna do right now is a couple of reviews. Yeah, it's all English. It's all it all Relates to each other. So what we're going to do is review, kind of go over some words from last semester, um, see what kind of stuck, see what it didn't. Um, so this first one, you might want to give that one a shot, right here. I don't know. Yeah, Anybody? Don't know. I don't know. Good, <laughs> good. I don't know. The go-to. My mom, my mom's go-to right here. Good, 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 good. The next one I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taylor. Uh, what, what's that on the that last word? Ita on the end there. Yeah, yeah ita. What is that? What does that mean? That little spot by itself. Does it have a meaning? Uh, this right here is uh, understand, to know, to know, or understand. This right here is uh, your, your, negate, your negative statement. <coughs> like, kind of like not. This is talking about I. Yeah, I, I not know. Kind of what it breaks down to, I not know. I don't know. It's making that. If you want to leave it uh, in our prayer, Christ. I I know that your son walked walked you. That's that's what we said in that prayer. That's the positive form of that. This is the negative form. I don't know. You can say this either slow. Or you can blend these two sounds together. And you're saying it quicker. I don't know. My, I, I was talking to my dad about this one. He, he, he was there with those, uh, like Grandpa Lynn, Grandpa Levi, he would always say, they say, and I was trying to tell him, well, if you slow that down, it's, but I'll eat that. But he didn't want it. Okay. <laughs> all right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, he knew it all. Okay. Next word. You can say it slower or you can say it quicker. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know. That's basically all that means. I ask you a question, put you on the spot. I'll cut the audio. I'll, I'll move on. Okay, I'll move on. That's right. Yeah, it's, it's not a wrong answer here. As long as you're using this Pawnee word. The next one, Atika. My grandma. My grandma. Good, 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 good. My grandma. Your grandkid. Good, good. What about up Your grandpa. Your grandpa. Good. My grandpa. A deep. Good, good, good. And then there, this is what Zach was writing. This is I know in black right here. Yeah, where you been that sounds? Just your own preference. Your own preference. Uh, all of those older speakers they kinda of blend those sounds because they were they knew it. It's like saying, I don't know. Say, I don't or I do not know. You know, we don't say that in English, we just say I don't know. Oh, yeah, I can get away with that because we're English speakers, you know. Oh, okay. You guys know what I'm talking about. So. Same thing, okay. Ita. Ita. Everybody. Ita. Ita. Narita. Narita. Tadarita. Tadarita. Kaka Tadarita. Kaka Tadarita. I don't know. It's a good, good word to know. Good word to know. Next one. Doctor Sir. Doctor Sir. Doctor Sir. Doctor Sir. My name. My name. My name is good. Doctor Sir Taylor. You put your name in the front of it, or doesn't matter. Taylor. Doctor Sir. Doctor Sir. Taylor. Either way. Either ways would be okay. Some languages you're stuck with it has to be out of the bed, not funny. Give that shot. Shall we? Good. Which is? Shall we? Shall we? Good. Good. Shall we? And how we say it, how Nora says it on the, the website. Shall we? Real fast. Shall we? Shall we? And then we got it. We put it in English it up. Shall we? Now we're, we're used to having those. That long sound now. Shall we? C H A U I C H A W I. However you want to spell it. So. Questions on those ones? Bucky questions? Okay. Keep going. What about Pita? Pita. Pita. Or Pita if you want. Pita. Either one. Anybody? Okay, okay. There's good yes, though. Because there's man in it. Man, child. 20. Good. 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 And you combine those, it makes like an owl sound. Pita. Pita. Remember, our, our, our number system is based off of this, based off of 20s. Because mm -hmm. they got a person's, most people got 20 digits, right? If you're missing a toe, an extra finger, I don't know. You got 20. Makes up one person, makes up one name. <sighs> Anybody? 
brother? My brother. My brother. My brother. I'm a female. Good. So this is a female only word. Okay. Talking about my brother. My brother of a female. So if you're a female, you have a brother, this is what you're using. It ought to be. It ought to be. Yeah, he's, a, he's also a third brother. You get into that third person. Idari. Everybody, Idari. So same sex sibling. So uh, a, a female could say this to her sister, a male could say this to his brother. But you only hear it now, it's kind of a guy term. You know, they only say that as Idari. No, the dog, you don't ever, I hardly ever hear girls saying that to each other, but you can't. We're going to start. Yeah. I hear it a few times. Yeah. Okay. Same sex. But not enough like we can hear. Yeah. Yeah. Good, yeah. good. Yeah. 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 So, so Dolly Adrian said he, just said right here. Adrian said he's heard that before. So, the females, you, I encourage you to say that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I encourage okay. you to say that. Someone questions you, you tell, you tell me if they question me. Okay. <laughs> Can we send them to you? <laughs> yeah, send them to me if they question okay. you about that. Okay, we will. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> it's like Gloria Steinem said, you know, we've become the man we always wanted to marry. <laughs> Tough one. I don't know. You might want to give it a shot. Sarawi. Or Sarawi. Sarawi. I'll put it with the all. Sarawi. I'm going to put it like a fake drift top on it. Anybody? 16. Good. Good. 16. You're back to number. Good, 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 good. Can we go back, uh, Taylor? Can you go back to the siblings? What, what would male to female be? Male to female, uh, for, all right, Taylor? Yeah. Sorry. Adopt. Adopt. Okay, he's got his own board now. Mm-hmm. Dueling boards. Zach's got right up here, so. Quinn said, what about males to female? Is that kind of tied up there? Say what to what? Male to female, like my sister, but if a male speaking? Yeah, I hear you. Atari. 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 Yeah, you know which one's which? Sweetie on bottom. Sweetie on the bottom. Sweetie on the bottom. Sweetie on the bottom. Be careful, Adami. <laughs> what was the skeedy? <laughs> I can cheat over here. I <laughs> Yes, everybody. Atahi. 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 Yeah. So this one right here is ski D for. Yeah, Sapmen. Sapmen Atahi. Atahi. Okay. This one. Wait the Asku. Everybody. Wait the Asku. Wait the Asku. Wait the Asku. Anybody? Good. Right now, it's one. It's one o'clock. Right now, it's one. Okay. It's one o'clock. Right? Because this way and we is talking about now. This D is, it is, this is one. What about what time is it? Good. She even said it something. All right. 
Some of the guys do. <laughs> Felt sorry for you. <laughs> <A little rusty. laughs> Get scale <laughs> Get ski with you. What time is it? This one you 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 hear. You still, I still hear that. Even growing up, I heard that. Yeah. This one kind of survived it. Get ski with you. Get ski with you. What time is it? What time is it? Yeah. 
the country hall, the country camp. So same word, the country hall. Except instead of saying Dida Dog, we're going to say, yeah, the country camp, half. Half. That's the lot. I'll write it up. So right here is our word for year. And this is our word for half. The whole thing. The cut the hall. The cut So everybody say um the cut the cut. The cut the cut. That's our word for half. And then we got the first part. The cut the hall. The cut the hall. Let's put it all together. The cut the hall. The cut the cut. They cut the hall. 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 Good, good, good. So that's our months. Remember we went over all the months? Is that not one up there? The word up there. I thought it was 40. 200. What was 40? 200. Aki. 49. Aki. 49. Aki. No, the other one. Aki. Yeah, Barry and Jimmy. Right at the top. 40. 30. Everybody. So we got. So remember when we started off with detail? That's our word for 20. Whenever it's in the middle of a word, when it's followed by a vowel, it changes to a P. We don't want to confuse you with all the linguistics, but that's what's going on right there. Um, so you got 10, kind of like plus 20, I guess, 30. So everybody, the hook city we go. What dialect is this? What dialect is it? South Bend, Skiddy? Skiddy. South Bend. South Bend. Skiddy would be good. Is it shorter? Yeah. Duke City, we doubt. Duke City, okay. Duke City, we doubt. Yeah. So look at the difference. Duke, a little shorter than here. Duke City, we doubt. The Duke City, we doubt. 30. Okay. 30. Okay, yeah. So back to this one. I skipped over. Everybody. Body it. Body it. Body it. Body it. Gene. So we got a word for ball. Remember the same word we said we had that word in uh what you said. Yeah, we had that same word. Talk about moon or month in this case. Delta. Talking about summer. Summer moon. Summer month. Jim. Body here. Did you let them know now that, that our old our old calendar we had thirteen months? Yeah. 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 Wait. No.
Do dog get you see. Do dog get you see. Adina, do dog get you see. Adina, do dog get you see. Yes, Yes, that's what it was. Okay. So, so in our prayer, we went Adina, 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 do dog get you see. Or stop me. Adina, 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 so we're asking God, will you please kind of like uh, watch over my family, look over my family. That covers a lot of people. It covers a lot of people. If you're talking to God, this is a, a good one to start, put a star by it if you want. A really good one. Yeah, really long word. Okay, we'll take a little break and we'll come back and finish up the review. Get it, Gabe. Okay. 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 Okay.
guts. Gray? Oh, okay. And you asked what color is yes. it? Yeah. <laughs> Get it gay enough to know us. What color is this? Good. Get it gay enough to know us. Get it gay enough to know us. I know. Okay. I know. Um, That's good, yeah. Uh -huh. Almost bar. Bar. But it's bar. also a few I mean, like, so it's brown. It's almost dark. dark. Almost dark. Oh, yeah. It's not a dark It's not a form of dark no, I mean almost dark, almost black, almost yeah. that kind of yeah. But doesn't that, doesn't that end with like a IPA or? Yeah. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> look at where it is. Where's Bram? Oh, yeah. 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 Monkey's under our check. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, is, it is almost dark yeah. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like dark red or something? Or? Uh, first part of it. Get a pop. Get a pop. Remember? Get a pop. Yeah. Uh, kind of weird. Uh, lighter red or something. But that's our word for prayer. Oh, mm -hmm. and for yeah. too. Yeah. They get a pop. Which is why you, when he said that. Yeah. The, the, was that duckers? No. Yeah. Yes. When you said that duckers is red, that's why yeah. that was okay. Yeah. And it does. It has some red. A lot of right answers. Not this one. Get it, get it, a quarter here. Kind of a big one. What is the answer? Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, So it's like you can even use just to shiny, shiny coin metal. Oh, that's yeah. what I was going to say, metal. Is there a word for silver? Or is it metal? I would be a green. Or is it metal? Yeah. 
Kitty Kate after the dogs. Brown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think almost red, white, red. Mm -hmm. Red. Mm -hmm. Wow. Kitty. What's that? No, Kitty. No. Kitty. 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 It's a hue. And I have that word like dark or black in it. Not a long one, is it? No. It's different yeah. from the fruit. Yeah. 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 It's not the fruit. Not the fruit. Yeah. Father, we had a question. What? Yeah, we use kisses for purple. Yeah. Uh, I mean, just didn't make it like an English version of, of, of that one. 
Maybe they couldn't send it out. Yeah. Because I asked them, I said, well, what's the word from five? Because it's got the same code, right? Uh -huh. You know, words are described, so it's an actual word from five. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know you guys had found something. Yeah. That, yeah, the only thing is, is the, the fruit, I did, I did cheese, I did cheese, almost sounds like uh, oranges. oranges. I like put oranges, onion juice, onion juice. Yeah, I'm missing it. And then um, the, the, the word we have for cook is unassist. So can you put other juice up there? It's just a little bit. I'm not looking at all of this. I'm not looking at all of this. Okay, so the so top one right here is the fruit. Wow. Onion juice. Onion juice. In, in our research, it shines. It says it's just the Pali pronunciation of the oranges, the plural. Oranges, udder juice. Oranges, you can see that. The bottom part, unassist. Sounds really close to unassist. Is it is the cook. So you got unassist got the for like cook dark. And the, the, the only way we, we could explain it is if you get a piece of paper and, and you light it on fire, it has that orange tint to it. You know what I'm talking about? There's paper. Hey. I'm not joking. You're not seated. You're not seated over there. That's kind of our thinking. They sound very similar. So, so can you put the seat to this? But they don't have a relationship. No, I'm not those two. No. They sound very similar. So, so what Zach was talking about is this word for grape. Kisuits. Kisuits is the word for like wild grapes. Yeah. But he also put... Also, you could use that for the color purple. Mm -hmm. But then, other chips, thinking the same thing, but he, he kind of went out of his way to put it. This only just means fruit, fruit or only fruit. So I don't, I, don't, I don't get why he could say, you can, yeah, I don't know why he could say, this is just fruit only, but this is great or purple. I don't, I don't understand that part. Which, yeah. who are you talking about? Parks. Okay. Probably just somebody told us. <laughs> well, there's that phrase that I was trying to find that last time in the class here, and it was meant to uh, think that tastes good or sweet or something like that. But that was supposed to be for fruit as well. Yeah. Just general term for yeah. it. For it. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I'll do that. If I, if I hear it, I'll, I'll know it. Um, why is it going to say that? Um, Giddy Giddy. Giddy Giddy. He came up. He round. Giddy Giddy City. City Ball. Right? Can you can you speak up? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I had the mic last time, that's why. So so I'm saying Kitty Katie, what is it, right? Uncle Herb said ball. And I just put D in front of it, D ball. You could you could use the word for calling it. Dates, uh, Kitty. The Hollow. The Hollow. Is that? Do you remember this? So then I said, Kitty Case to do. What, what are they to? City Ball, right? Mm -hmm. Kitty Kate, I, what are they? Three. Three. Uh -huh. Dia Ball, right? Uh -huh. So then I said, Ketske. Oh, you remember okay. that one? Yeah. How much? How, much? Yeah. How many? How many? Uh -huh. So there's what? Four. Four, which is... Good, good, good. What would they answer? Verbally. All I'm asking is how many are there? But what it means when we answer, there are. Oh, there are. Two and two. We haven't learned that yet. I just want to know the number. But we'll get into that. The hollow of you. The hall of you. This is our word for fruit right here. The hall of you. The hall of you. The hall of you. 
Tahawaki. So it's free, tastes nice, tastes differently, has a good flavor, yeah, a unique taste. So that's a generic fruit. Any any kind of fruit. There's also I think it's three more, two more. I was just gonna say I think there's yeah. another one I think y'all found that. Over. But I, I think it's a long neck. Lines that I don't think it had that I'll walk in there, but it started out that tastes that, nice. Maybe that da, 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 or something like that. Mm. So, so as Zach's, uh, as, as Zach's getting that, those words of this is what we'll be going over next week is, is the commands with it. We'll probably do a lesson of just commands and then we'll jump back into the, to the game. But these are some of the commands. Um, a lot of these have a uh, Stood the test, you know, stood the test of time that we that we still here today. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll get a really squint part of it. Let me let me zoom in. So Sukes beat did it, right? No, mm -hmm. that one that one's made it. Akala, Sukes beat did it, no, Akaka Kura. Sukes beat did it, you know, that stuff like that, that's that's been uh, made it through. Six Sucha, mm, Sixa. More like it, uh, the one that is very common. Six Six Study. That one. That one's study here. Okay. Or even uh, chin. Wait. Um, when said one earlier. Istu. Mm -hmm. Istu kind of like means uh, again. Here is that like. Right here, That's that's what your I location. Know, no, no, no. No. So it's like I, I have this pin. Oh, okay, okay. So you're not paying attention. Study, study. I'm here. Okay. I'm handing it to you. Okay. Here is we're getting get into it right here. Okay. So the Dintoku is right here. Okay. I'm talking about right here. Okay. Dintoku. Dintoku would be like where Zach is. Okay. Over there. Dintoku is like. Where the O is, you know, the bathroom. Uh, it, it, somewhere over there. Somewhere over there. Dintaku, itaku, itaku. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that. Though. We'll get into all this. I'm just going to give you like a preview of what we're, we're going to be going over. Yeah, really specific, kind of, and just over that way, yeah, in general. The left and right, kusaksi, ekoyu. I'll get into that. I'll get into that. Right? Okay. Um, Bahitu. Bahitu, right? That one. Aka Bahitu. That one stayed with us. Um, we should really, we Zach should really try to get, get one into this one. Um, Suks Baku. I'm talking to one person. There's that. Se Suks Baku. You two say it. Uh, you all say it. So Zach and I, whenever we first introduced this, we really stayed, stayed with it for like two weeks and then we just dropped off and we're going to say it everybody. So we're trying to get back into that. This one, are you listening? Karasa Kuku. Um, that one's in that, um, that movie. What's that movie called? When you work on it. Revenant. That one, I know this right off the bat. That's a cook, we usually tell them that. That's the way it ended for that. Are you listening? I use it in my prayer. That's good. Can you really stop making them it? This one we're unsure of. We're unsure of this one. We kind of got this one right. That's why I highlighted it in green. Super Scuddy Huts. That's a good one. Uh, closed door, open door. Those are kind of common ones too. And the one we'll be using is you throw it, super sub it, super sub it. So I'll, I'll have um, this jar. Say Deb has the, the white one. So I'm telling her. Um, Suksa with it, Dintaku, 
right? And it's right next to me. So, 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 so would it be to throw it right here? Zach, well, how about I can say, so, so would it be to throw it over there? Stuff like that. But we'll get into that. So. Keep going. Trump. Bring it up. Soup skits cut yet. So the skits part right here is our liquid part. That's what it's talking about. Liquid, that's what you know when it's a drink. So you got soups, cutty huts, eat it up. Soups, gets, cutty huts. The only difference is that gets, that's talking about liquid. Soups, gets, cutty huts. What about soups, gets? Soups, gets. Drink it. Yeah, same thing. Just drink it. Yeah. It's like drink it, this one's kind of like a. Yeah, drink it all the. Yeah, I guess that's what you're saying. Yeah, finish that drink. Finish that drink. Knock it out. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Slash, knock it out. I guess. But I don't know. Yeah, soup skin can drink it. Questions? That's what we'll be going over next week. That's what we'll be going over next week. We'll have a whole lesson with these commands. And we'll use these commands in this little game. Any questions on those? A question? Yeah, I don't know. Question. But it's, it's on the word G. Right. Mm -hmm. So it seemed like towards the, uh, so I think everybody here, or well, most of us know that the word G is way. But it kind of seemed like to me that it started replacing the word stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it is. Especially when we get away from language, when we're getting into the first language speaker, now you just kind of like. I, I thought it was because it's easier to say. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe I, I, in my mind, I see it as we're relying on English now. And then mm -hmm. Zach's going, I'm telling him to chew, telling him to wait, but he's yeah. stopping. So in my mind, I'm thinking maybe someone watching him thinking, oh, he's telling him to stop and chew. Yeah. That's how, that's how we get uh, responsibility away from a lot of the meetings, you know, like yeah. a, a deep butt versus a butt. Yeah. Same exact way. We're relying on English. Where before we had a fluent speaker who were all fluent, now we're relying on English. With, so that's kind of where, where it gets lost. Yeah. Well, what does it say out there at the, at the stop sign? Yeah, it says that. Stop. Stop. I think it says this up there. Up there stop, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so you see that. Yeah. 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 Oh, my. I don't have no more to. They used to have but that. it's good that you still remember to see them, man. Yeah. I mean, they've been gone for a long time. Though. <laughs> <laughs> it was spelt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was spelt. Oh, that's why it's a spelt. That's the way it's spelt. I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that's the best same with like if you go to the wellness center, they have that giant banner up there. It says, "Who's the money bride or something?" Yeah, like who's the body happy? I can't remember what that word is, but it has a lot of that. Um, right. Oh yeah, I remember yeah. that influence. Something like that. Do you go into the wellness center? The big yeah, yeah, yeah. It has that stone. And. Our very first classes, we kind of we, we talked about the about that spelling, the, the limitations on it, the uh, inconsistencies on that spelling system. Mm -hmm. So our very first classes, our very first meetings, we talked about all the writing systems, which there's like eight, at least eight. That's not even counting mm -hmm. like uh, maybe like my mom has yeah her one way, and Zach has another way of how he's hearing it. Easier. We're not counting those. There's like mm -hmm. documented languages. We have like six or seven different ways of spelling it. So that first meeting, that first community meeting, we laid out all those, uh, we laid out all of them. And Zach and I proposed three different ways of spelling it. We proposed uh, the way we do it, with another symbol, and Zach and I even created an orthography. Not orthography. Yeah. That can I created uh, like with nothing but symbols, just messing around, you know, like how uh, so the other sages do. Yeah, syllabary. Yeah, syllabary. Exactly. I created this joke. One just on our own, just 
<laughs> we could do it like that, but this was the, we voted, we had everybody vote on it, what they liked. Mm -hmm. So it's not just Zach and I, oh, Zach, Zach and Jitter language, like no, it's our class language. So that's kind of how we got away from around all that political stuff. I guess, how do you want to say it? Everybody's opinion or the so, system. So that's kind of how we got it like this. It was voted on by was about 30 people, yeah? 20? Yeah. yeah. I don't know how many people there were. They voted on it, this is what they liked, so we went with it. Every time Zach and I have a concept, have a new word, have a new way we want to do something, we ask the class. So that's kind of a, another incentive of coming to class is you get your input on how it's being documented. Not just on the Question. Go ahead. You were saying the system before the one we're using now. Uh -huh. um, when you first introduced the one we're using now, which has two characters, and you all said, oh, that was hard to understand and all that. Well, those of us who learned it that way, of course, knew it was hard to understand. But my question is, there were two characters. You got two characters now. But are you saying that the use of those characters was inconsistent in yeah, the math system? Um, this right here is the, this symbol right here is the greater, oh, is that greater than or less than, that's the less than. R, R character. Mm -hmm. This little bracket right here is the, with the angry eyebrows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this also has a TS sound with oh, okay. it. So there's one inconsistency right here. This one, they're trying to base it on English, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh sound. But yeah. you don't you don't use that ooh sound in this word. Yeah. But you don't say foot. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe someone does. Maybe someone does. Foot. Yeah. See so. Yeah. But foot. Maybe. That's it. Just one one little sound change. Yeah. But foot. But it's the same o o. So we picked the part. We picked the part with this this way of writing pretty good. Mm -hmm. Beat it down. <laughs> so, but, but, it, but we wanted to prove a point. You know, it's very inconsistent. <coughs> That's how we went there. How we didn't develop stuff if it's inconsistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were, and, oh, and this one had an O sound. Mm -hmm. An O sound. And we don't have that sound in front. Yeah. We have a ooh, a uh, an ah, uh, an a, 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 a. Yeah, we don't have that O sound though. Right. We have the O sound. <laughs> yeah, just the O. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? So people like to say, no one. No one. They put that R and O though. No one. No one. You know, that's not key. Mm -hmm. You went to tell them that. Not, we don't have that sound in our, in our writing system. We don't have that sound in our um, list of sounds. No one. No. <coughs> we're going to back. <coughs> put the R character. Now, R A. Now, that's how it originally was. If you guys remember that R kind of represents that L, N, or a D sound, that's how we get that now. If you look in that blue book right there, it has N A W A, which I'm glad to see up at, at, the, at the reserve on those little signs. I'm glad it said now instead of. No one. Yeah. Yeah. And my last time, I was like, this way or like with an H. Yeah. No one. And yeah. Kaki. Kaki, no yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Real fun. So I'm glad to see that. I'm going to try to look at the key now. So what they voted on was this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, based off of that. Based so off, our, yeah. our system is based off of that yeah. one and off of parts. So we're, so we're, we're parts that for the two A's. Yeah. We just use one A with the rip cop. Mm -hmm. All we're doing. Which makes it better because it, it condenses it back down as opposed to having a whole mm -hmm. long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, I had a little bit off the question, but we were here at the uh, Ghost Pets singing the other night. Mm -hmm. Dari Sada? What does it mean? Is that, uh, is that like uh, Dari Sada? The word for ghost dance? Oh, ghost dance. Is that it? Yeah. That's exactly what that is. 
for the actual word for the ghost page, right? Yes. But if, I mean, literally, if what, there's a literal um, translation to that. <coughs> While well, that's looking at it, um, anybody have any other questions? Do I have any Talk questions? Talk 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 that hand game too, the hand game went on in the point. Oh yeah, I wanted to use that, that word. In the day. Hidden, that's kind of what it's going about. That's the word for hanging. Except for the audience. Everybody, who's? 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 The audience. The audience. The audience. The audience. Except for 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 the audience. 
Listen. Is it one time I do? Me and Zach, me and Zach, me and Zach, everybody uh, <laughs> professional up here. Zach and Zach. Our class, our class mother, Angela, was there. <laughs> Let's say Angela was there. She was there. I tore it. <laughs> we'll, we'll try it again. We'll try it again. <laughs> she heard it, but she wanted to repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, that's the plan for, for, for continuing on. So hopefully everybody comes back. Hopefully we have more people. 17 weeks. Mm. Any other questions? Coffee? Or no, just, uh, just thank you. Scooch here. Scooch here.